In this video, we're going to give a few strategies for dealing uh, with integrals that have secants and tangents in them. Uh, now, obviously, there's some relationship here because we know that the derivative of secant is secant tangent, and the derivative for tangent is secant squared. So we have some opportunities to, to create some like u's and du's uh, if, if it fits right, if everything fits correctly. So these integrals with secants and tangents will look like this. There will be some powers of secant and some power of tangent in our integrand. And, uh, and here's, here's just kind of a, a, a layman's explanation of what we want. Here, here's what we're after. Um, now, before I put these on the screen here, in most calculus textbooks, you'll find kind of a more formalized list, like, you know, if secant has an odd power, then you do this, or if tangent has an uh, even power, you might do this, or secant has an even power, you do this, or if there's no secants, but there's some tangents, you do this. So there's a lot of specific cases. In my experience, though, that's, all, that's really difficult to remember, like all those specific cases, especially like on a test or whatever. So I'm giving you just kind of like the underlying principles so that you can kind of do these on the fly without having to memorize like, you know, particular cases. And, and so here, here's what we want. We either want, at the end of the day, we want to keep the majority of our integrand uh, all secants, and we would like to save out of these different factors of secant and tangent, I would like to pick off or save one secant and one tangent. Now, why, why would we like to do that? Well, if you have all secants in your integrand, then secant can be your u, secant x can be your u, and then that would make secant tangent your du, right? Secant tangent would be your du. That's what it boils down to at the end of the day, making the majority of the integrand a function of u, and you save just enough terms to be the du at the end of the problem. And, all right, so the other option would be if you aren't going to make your integrand in terms of secants, then we'll make our integrand in terms of all tangents, and we'll save a secant squared at the end. Now, you can see why we would want to do that as well. If you can turn the majority of the integrand into tangents, then you have tangent this, tangent that, tangent this, tangent that, and then uh, u would be tangent, and the derivative for tangent is secant squared. And so again, you have a function of u, du. And so that's that's what we try to do in general. All right, so let's let's look at this one and I'll, I'll tell you how your brain should process these things. So you have the integral of secant to the fourth x times tangent squared of x. So I would like to save a few of these terms and kind of put them back here at the end, right? Put them back here at the end. So could I, for instance, save, and you don't have to write this part down, but should I save like a secant x tangent x perhaps? So if I did, then this would turn out to be secant cubed, and this would turn out to be tangent to the first. Is there any way of turning all this stuff into only secants? I don't think so, because you, you have a tangent to the first, tangent to the first, and there's no way to convert tangent to the first into secants. If it was tan squared, we have a trig identity, but being that it's tangent to the first, I, I, don't, I don't see that as a possibility. So uh, what else could we do? Could we save, uh, I see secant to the fourth, could we save a secant squared? Let's think about this. If we peeled off two factors of secant, then what's remaining, you would have a secant squared of x times tangent squared of x, and the derivative for tangent is secant squared. So we like this, this tan is, is fine here because you could have basically a u squared and then here's your du, but what do we do about the secant squared, right? Well, we actually know what to do with them. Secant squared, there's a trig identity for that. Secant squared is one plus tangent squared x. So if you rewrote everything, this is, uh, this is basically at the end of the day, we would have the integral of one plus u squared, right? One plus u squared times u squared, and then back here at the end would be du, right? Because secant squared, again, is the derivative of tangent. Now, for time's sake, uh, I'm not going to finish that integral out. I think you guys can do that. You would integrate this with respect to u. When you get done, you would take the u out and put tangent back in there because that was your choice for u. But I think you guys can finish up that algebra.
Now there are also two somewhat rare cases that we need to briefly talk about as well. Uh, the rare case, one of the rare cases is this, is what if you only have tangents in your integral? Um, in other words, you don't have any secants. Unfortunately, that's bad news because if you look back here at your original um, two ideas to save a secant tangent or to save a secant squared, both of these du's have secants, as you can see. So if you don't have any secants, neither of these ideas are going to work. So what do we do if, um, if there are no uh, secants at all? Well, here's the trick. We're going to save tangent squared, and we know we have tangent squared because there's an even power of tangents, or so we're assuming. And we're going to convert that tangent squared into secant squared minus 1, which is a trig identity. Now, we might need to repeat this process if, if uh, these, this is a particularly high even power of tangents, but, um, but this is the basic idea. All right, so let's, let's take a look at a quick example. I'll show you what happens here. Let's say you have like tangent to the fourth of x uh, dx right here. So what, what would happen in this example? Well, if we saved, so we have the integral of all right, tan squared x times tan squared x. I'm going to convert that tan squared at the end to secant squared x minus 1, which is a, a trig identity, of course. And check out what happens here. Um, if you distribute this tangent squared to each of these two terms here, we'd have something like this. We'd have, here, let me actually back that up so I have more space. Um, this will be equal to integral uh, tan squared x times secant squared x minus tan squared x dx. Uh, now notice this integral right here, uh, this one's good. This one's good to go. I'm not going to finish it out. I think you can finish it out. But you have uh, u would be tangent and back here at the end you've got your du. So you have basically u squared du. u squared and the derivative of for, for tangent again is uh, secant squared. Now what about this integral, integral of this term? Well, again, we have a tangent squared, that's tangent to an even power, with no secants, with no secants. And so for this guy, just that second term, we would repeat this idea and write him as, um, this guy, as secant squared minus 1. So here, I'll tell you what, let me erase this. Let me erase this guy right here. And I'll at least write you down one last line. This will be the integral for tan squared x times secant squared x dx. That'll be our first integral. We'll kind of put that guy off to the side. And then minus the integral. And let me convert this guy as well. Um, secant squared x minus 1 dx. We'll do this as a separate integral. I've already put a green check mark on this guy. He should be no problem for us. The integral of secant squared is tangent, so he's doable. And the integral of 1 is just x. And so we can integrate all these individual pieces. Okay, so um, I know I didn't finish those algebra steps out, uh, mostly just for time reasons, but I think you, sh you shouldn't have too, many, too much trouble uh, finishing the rest of these examples out. All right, now there is a last resort. There is a last resort because all these cases are so specific. You have to have this, or you have to make a secant tangent, or you have to make a secant squared, or the, there has to be not only just tangents, but an even power of tangents and all these very specific things. If all else fails, tangent and secant uh, can both be written in terms of sine and cosine. So if all else fails, convert everybody into sines and cosines, and then use the method that we just previously talked about in the last video that uses uh, sines and cosines. So that's always kind of your, your last ditch effort. So anyways, hope that helps you understand uh, how to do ugly integrals that have secants and tangents in them.